know that it was day 46 of the lockdown. Day 46. It is day 46. And in saying it's day 46, it is also... Mother's Day! Yay! Yay Mother's Day! Yay to all you mums out there. And mum type people. Mm. And motherly figures. Yep. We all have uh, lots of mums, not just our... Um, biological. biological, that's the word I'm looking for, biological mums, but there's all sorts of uh, mother figures that we have out there. Um, so, happy Mother's Day to them. Happy Mother's Day. Have a cookie. Mm, cookies. Have a cookie by yourself in honour of the mothers if you mm. don't have a mother in your bubble. Mm. Um, make a cookie. Bake cookies and freeze them to give to someone when you're out of your bubble. These are frozen cookies. Oh, I baked good. them the other day and then I put them in the freezer. That way they last longer rather than me eating them all at once. Yeah. That's a good idea. It's a great strategy. Anyway, we have a great show today. I'm just going to pray to start. Lord, we just thank you um, that you are a wonderful God. And we thank you that you've been here all 46 days of the lockdown. Mm. And you'll be there with us every day of our life. We thank you for all the mums um that are in our worlds um and and we just ask special blessing upon them today mm. uh, bless the kids in your mighty name jesus amen amen happy mother's day hey good church it is mother's day today happy mother's day happy mother's day we're going to make some french toast uh because french toast is delightful to make so you can either make it plain or we're going to add some extra ingredients today. Um, so what we need is some bread. Voila. So you'll need two pieces of bread for each uh, French toast that you make. Um, you'll need a container. You'll need washed hands. And also spray down your bench. Uh, you will need some eggs. Some eggs here. One, two, at least two. You could do three or four. There we go. We've got those eggs in. Just wipe our hands, wipe that egg off our hands. Um, we will pour a little bit of milk in. You can measure it out. You can find an ingredients book and measure it, or we can just pour a little bit in. Then we'll grab a fork out of here. Excuse me, Lana. We go. And you might want to add some fresh fruit in, so I've got some grapes, strawberries, got some chocolate. Um, you grab one piece of bread and then you dunk it into your, your mixture here and then you take it out and snap it on your board there. You might press down the middle a little bit and then chuck some, uh, chuck some of the ingredients in. So we have filled up a few of these as you've seen, we are just going to slap these on. So you could either do it before or you could do it after, probably better after, which I thought about after I did the first one. Then you simply dunk these back in there, do both sides, and then you need a nice hot pan and then you slap them in here. And the last step is to give this to the mum. Happy Mother's Day! Yum! Thank you! Yeah! Yeah! Some things I love to do with my kids are every Friday night we have a tradition of movie night and so we get takeaways and um, we watch movies and eat junk food and it's nice after a busy week just to come together and relax and be in one another's company. So that's been a bit of a priority for us for the last five or six years which is really nice. Um, we also like to go on family walks around the red zone which is very close to us and um, pick fruit and the kids love to um, take their bikes or scooters or climb trees and it's nice to be out together um, in the sunshine just enjoying exploring together which is really cool and 
I think one-on-one, -on -one, I love just sitting down and talking to my kids, even sometimes if it's while we're doing a puzzle or while we're doing something, just having conversation and um, having getting to know their thoughts and hearing some of their personality. They're great kids and I just love being around them. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, so this is my children, well, two of them, Shalom and Abby Grace, and they're just going to say hello to you because today <laughs> is Mother's Day. And Ab Shalomi's just dropped over because it's Israel's birthday today with some sweet treats. But anyways, one of the favourite things we like to do as a family <laughs> is eat. So as you can see, my children are big, <laughs> so, <laughs> so they don't... They don't all live at home anymore, so a good way to get us together is to come around and eat food together. And some other things that we like to do together, just whilst we're in lockdown, is um, let me show you. Some colouring in. So Abby and I do this sometimes. And got some drawing. So this is something that I do a little bit of. That's what I'm trying to draw. And then together as a family, we play Catan. And we do this sometimes when the other kids are over as well. So um, it's a good game and we enjoy playing it. At the moment, Abby is winning the challenge at home. And then just one more thing. Come through the house and we're going to head out to the porch. And this is where we have our puzzle set up. So this is the second puzzle that we're doing since we've been in lockdown and it's quite a busy puzzle. Lots of things going on in that one. Anyway, so we hope that you are well and um, that you enjoy your family today and um, this will be shown to you on Sunday and happy Mother's Day. Hey, wow, this Devo chat we get to speak with my dear friend. Pastor Lulu. Hi Lulu. Hey, how are you doing? Great, how are you? So good. I had real coffee this morning, so I'm <gasps> excited. Ah, yes, you'll be buzzing. That does help. Hey, so what we're talking about is um, people's favorite Bible characters. So I would love to know what is your favorite Bible character or favorite part of their life and why? So probably I'm gonna go with three because their stories all wound in together. So uh, Shadrach, Meshach, Meshach and Abednego, nice. or Abednego, depending on your pronunciation. Yeah. Uh, so my my favorite part, obviously the story about them is they're living under King Nebuchadnezzar and he says that everybody has to bow down and worship him and worship him his idols every time that some music plays. Yeah. And they are people that are like, actually, that's not what we're about we're not doing that. So instead they decide to stand and they get reported to the king. Um, and he's like, if you don't, I'm gonna throw you in the fire. Uh, and their response, I, this is what I love about them. Their response is, well, you can throw us in the fire and we know that our God is able to save us. Yeah. But even if he chooses not to, we're still not gonna back down on what we believe. Wow. And yeah, so I just, I love that about them, that they're so courageous in their faith, that mm -hmm. even if God doesn't come through, they still believe that he can, and mm -hmm. they're still going to hold on to what they believe. And what about that has impacted you in your life? Yeah, so I guess there's a couple of things from that. One of them is to make sure that I have good friends around me that are going to encourage me to do the right thing. Because yeah. maybe part of the reason they could stand was because there were three of them and they weren't alone. So it wasn't quite as scary because they had good people in their world. And the other thing is to just be courageous and trust God and to be able to come to that point of going, even if it doesn't look like what I think it should look like, mm. God's still got this and God's still for me. That's so good. That's so good and really important about the friendships. Hey, I hadn't, hadn't thought about that aspect before, that being together made them stronger to stand in front yeah. of them. 
Because there are people that obviously stood on their own, but I think it's cool that they were part of a community of people mm. and that encouraged them to hold on to their beliefs that actually it wasn't just something they did on their own, but they did it together. That's right. Going just slightly off track here, but while we're in this quarantine and this lockdown, how have you found you're able to stay connected and part of community, even though we're in our own little isolation bubbles? Yeah, so it's been quite cool. The people that I haven't talked to for ages that we've actually connected on a Zoom call or on Facebook or just text people. Um, so it's been really cool. I've been playing Monopoly with some uh, friends that I work on race cars with who live in Australia. <laughs> and we never, like, we never do anything together outside <laughs> of racing season. Um, but one of them the other day is like, hey, want to play Monopoly? Sure. So it, it's been really cool. I was in isolation by myself for five weeks because um, I travelled and my flatmate had also travelled. So it, I had five weeks of just me at home. Um, so I learned to be good at talking to people on Zoom or calling people or doing those things. But it's actually been fun to maintain community in this space and work out how best to do that. I agree, and I think a lot of that we can carry on with once um, this ends, yeah. hey? 100%. Hey, so if my part... friends drop me from the Monopoly game, I'm going to cry. <laughs> um, apart from Monopoly, is there anything else? We've you've probably covered it. Anything else that um, the kids could take to apply to their lives from the story that you talked about? Mainly just... I think, what you've yeah, said. I think a lot of it is just making sure that the people that help you make decisions are people that... Uh, leading you in the right direction yeah so it's so easy especially like at school or whatever when you go back to that environment to have the group of people like all doing this one thing but you know it's not really what yeah. you're supposed to mm -hmm. it's important to have those couple of friends that you know will stand up with you and do the right thing and sometimes it might mean just being brave and choosing to do the right thing even though it might feel like you have to do it alone because you're not alone god's with you such great advice i love it i love it love your word there hey um it is mother's day so could you tell us what is something that you admire about your mum? um one of the things i admire about mum, and sometimes i find it embarrassing uh but <laughs> as i've got older i've learned it is actually quite cool is that she's just really confident Mm -hmm. to do things that maybe are different to normal. Mm -hmm. um, so I mentioned that I work on race cars with some of my friends. That's because my mum drove race cars when I was little. Um, so it, it's not a normal thing for a mum to do. <laughs> and, you know, like we didn't have the flashest cars. Um, yeah. But she loved it and she enjoyed it and she was passionate about it. So she went for it. And yeah, and look just, how that inspired I, you. Yeah. Like, if yeah. you hadn't done that, then you wouldn't have got into the passion of race cars that you've got into. No, I don't think so. If it hadn't been such a big part of our family, you yeah, know, yeah, would it have been such? I don't know. I never, never crossed my mind. But yeah, she's someone I guess that's been not afraid to just mm -hmm. do what she, what she cares about, whether it's considered the normal thing to do or not. That is awesome. And I love your mum. That's pretty cool. <laughs> well, yeah. Wish you a happy Mother's Day from us. Um, Will do. <laughs> and thank you so much for your time and sharing uh, your thoughts on your favourite Bible character. That's something we can take away and think about during um, this week and especially as kids start to go back to school, um, connecting with good friends uh, who can keep them on the right track, standing up for what they know is good and right. So bless you heaps, Lulu. You. Thanks for inviting me in. Uh, it's thanks good to see you again. Me. It's been awesome. <laughs> All right. Thanks. We'll see you later. See ya. Bye. Ice Olympics this week brings you Band Car Rally. Simply get some toy cars, matchbox car size, one or many as you wish to have. You also need some rubber bands and a table. Simply line up your cars and flick them with the rubber bands until they fall off the table. 
There are many different techniques and many different sizes. So this may be a timed challenge or you may wish to go head to head. Different cars will go at different speeds. So this may want to be tested out first. Continue to hit the car with the rubber band until it reaches the edge of the table. And bam, there we go. This is a lot of fun for contestants of all ages. So good luck. Well, that's all from us today. So thank you so much for joining us. We hope you had a good time. It's been uh, great to make some French toast with you, uh, play with some, to <laughs> some toy cars with you, and um, go out there and just love on your mums. Mm. We're going to end in prayer. Hey Lord, we want to thank you for uh, the mums that are in our lives. We want to thank you that um, uh, they show us uh, so many things and we just ask blessing upon them and we ask that uh, you would uh, guide each of these, each of the uh, children watching um, and the adults watching today that you would bless them and guide them through this week. Thank you that you are such a loving God. In your mighty name, Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless, guys. Have a great day.